Hi there, my name is Juliet Raz. My husband and I serve on the eldership team of the Josh Jean Wellington congregation. I'm also a child counsellor in private practice and an evergreen parenting consultant. I've been asked to make this video about teens and depression because oftentimes it's difficult for parents to differentiate between normal teenage growing pains and depression. So first of all, let's define depression. Depression goes beyond moodiness. All of us expect the occasional bad moods and acting out as part of the teenage experience. But depression causes an overwhelming sense of sadness, despair or anger in teens. And this oftentimes goes unnoticed and then it tips over into risky or unhealthy behaviours such as eating disorder, self-harm, substance abuse, violence, reckless behaviour and a big one lately, the smartphone addiction. And all of these are simply ways of escape, uh, but it makes the depression and the isolation worse. So let's look at some of the signs of depression in teens. Although sadness and hopelessness is an obvious sign of depression, we should not overlook some other prominent symptoms of teen depression. First of all, irritability, anger and hostility. Um, when the, your child has frequent anger outbursts or easily frustrated, have a closer look. Then there can, can be unexplained aches or pain, stomach aches, headaches, fatigue, lack of energy, any changes in eating and sleeping habits um, is a, a warning sign and difficulty concentrating, all of those physical things, have a look at them. Then there's the low self-esteem. Uh, depression can really trigger intense feelings of worthlessness and shame in teens. They feel ugly, they feel like a failure, uh, they feel easily rejected, and it can be so depressing. And then there's the withdrawal, withdrawal from friends, pushing away parents, um, withdrawing from activities that they previously liked, that lack of enthusiasm and motivation. Um, and then last of all, if there's any thoughts, words, attempts of death or suicide, that is a serious cry for help. So don't ignore any statements, I wish I was dead, I I'd be better dead or I wish I could disappear forever. Those statements are a serious cry for help. The good news is that we can help our teens. Through our love and support, we can help them overcome depression. So how do we do that? We focus on listening to them, not lecturing them. Be gentle but persistent. Tell them, I love you, I'm concerned about you and encourage them to speak to you, if not to you, to someone else that they trust. In the church, a trusted mentor or accountability partner or friend. Acknowledge their feelings. Remember for them, life is tough. So don't tell them it's really not that bad. So I'm gonna give you three practical tips. The first one is really encourage social interaction. Teens need social interaction, so make FaceTime a priority, firstly with you, but also with friends and family. Allow them to socialize, to combat that social isolation. Also get them involved, get them serving, let them volunteer, let them help you do something for someone else. There's no better antidepressant than that. Tip number two is to make physical health a priority. So get your teen moving, exercising, limit the screen time, provide nutritious, healthy meals, and very importantly, lots of sleep. Teens need nine to 10 hours of sleep a day. And then tip number three is to really know when to seek professional help. If you're wondering whether your teen is depressed or simply being a teenager, Ask yourself three simple questions. First, how long have my child looked very unhappy? Number two, 
how intense and serious and severe is that unhappiness? And number three, how different is that unhappiness from his usual self? And then just trust your gut. Pray about it. Ask God for wisdom and together with your parental love, support, encouragement and the community of faith around you. Allow God in His grace to help you lead your child through this time of pandemic.